So obviously the seller is important and the operational dynamics of Amazon or any other e-commerce platform is going to be really important. But for a manufacturer to be successful, it's important that they focus on the end user, right? Um, and for us, the philosophy of experience all sides is where success is at. So rather than just show a product literally side, side, side that you might see in a physical environment, for us, that digital shelf experience is so much different. We have to bring a lot more emotion, um, brand equity, occasion selling. You want to bring a lot more texture and relevance into the story that you tell, even on your product detail page, so that the shopper is intrigued and interested and can see why they might want to consider your product specifically. So it's behavior based largely. Um, so we do do some of the traditional ethnography and asking people questions and sort of attitudes and wish lists. What are they looking for? What do they want out of specific brands, products or their categories? Um, but then we also spend a lot of time uh, observationally from our own lenses, our own eyes, analyzing the environment, looking at the communication um, and getting after why do people really do what they do, right? So you could say um, that the snacking category is a really high impulse category in the brick and mortar format. And I go in store and I just pick something up really quickly. But you put that inside of the context of Amazon as an example. You're not going to shop it the same way, right? You're going to actually plan your purchase a little bit more. You're going to think about what you want before you actually click that button, even though it's instantaneous. So that behavior is critical because that will have a direct impact on the type of communication and branding experience that we create in our content story. Visual identity wise, so we actually, we have, our company has a heritage in traditional package design. So a lot of the same cues make sense for e-commerce. So when you break down a brand's equity and you look at imagery and iconography and the form and the shape and the typography, those, um, assets uh, that your brand builds, those equitable assets become important in e-commerce and we break it down, we deconstruct all those bits so that we can really zone in on what are going to be the most important in context of the product category online. So that visual equity comes through in the most meaningful way to the shopper.